What's up, everyone? I hope you all had an amazing week. It's been a mentally exhausting week day trading for me. Uh, just a little rougher than your typical week of day trading. That being said, ended the week really strong today. By far my best week. But I missed a trade that could have potentially made me thousands of dollars. Now, in this video, I want to talk about FOMO trading. Fear of missing out. But as always, before I get started, be sure you're subscribed to my channel, click that thumbs up button, and click that bell icon so you do not miss out on any of my upcoming videos. For those of you that's in Team Bull, you know Tesla was a big miss of the day. My level on my watch list said reject 226.184, 225 put options on Tesla. My stop loss was at 227.1, over a 3 to 1 risk to reward ratio on this trade, this setup. Unfortunately, I was watching another stock, another trade that did not confirm. I ended up missing out on this huge trade. That being said, I did make over 4K on the day, but this trade here had potentials to make me more than that. And let's talk about my feelings on missing a huge trade like this. First off, I have missed several trades that could have made me this much money, or, you know, I've been in crypto that's ripped thousands of percent right after I sold, it happens. First off, I like to think like this. If I follow my trading plan, if I don't chase this, if I don't if, if I don't FOMO into this trade, you know, that, that's a winning day to me. Win, you know, win or lose, if I follow my trading plan, it's a winning day in my books. Another thing, I've seen so many people lose money from chasing trades like this. Like, okay, it's rejecting nice. I need to get in here. Once you get in late, take a late entry on a trade like this, um, first off, we didn't know it was going to have this huge move down like you see here, of course. But a lot of times if you chase these trades and try to get in late, your risk to reward is gone. You know, it's not there anymore. This is not the A-plus setup. Um, you need to stay away from it because you will lose money in the long run. And, you know, if you have FOMO, if you see a trade and hit your uh, levels like this one here, simply take it off your screen. There's no point in watching it. Trade's done. You know, look at other stocks for setup. And I would say a lot comes from experience. A lot, you know, me handling handling this so well comes from experience. Um, I'm not going to sit here and say this didn't, you know, you know, make me feel well and miss that thing. It did. I had that thought. Jay doesn't even keep messing with me about it a little, just, you know, inside joke. But, uh, it's, you know, this is one day in time. There's going to be so many more great trades. I even had the clear, I had a clear enough mind to make, you know, end the week with my biggest day this week by far. Definitely hasn't been my week. Uh, been tough. And basically, that's all I have for this video. I just want to throw that out there. I've seen a lot of people dealing with this inside Team Bull, uh, missing trades like this. But some members did catch this. Um, so I'm thankful I was able to create this level and make some people money inside uh, Team Bull. Or even in my Instagram live, some people had this level. But if you have any questions for me, as always, feel free to reach out. And I appreciate you all for watching, and I'll see you next time.